How's it going guys and welcome back to another video, it's me Cam from Cam's Common and welcome back to another Chelsea match preview. Now today Chelsea are playing West Bromwich Albion at 5.30 UK time at the Hawthorns away. It's going to be a cracking little game, I think if we keep up the momentum we are had against uh, Barnsley we're at towards the end we are playing beautiful fast flowing football here there and everywhere. I think we're going to secure the dub but I'll be talking about the team and the score. But before we get into the video, 80% of you who are watching these videos aren't subscribed. Try and bring that down to absolute zero because, you know, want to get a thousand subscribers, of course we do. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Yeah, to say this before um, I talk about the team, but the formation I will be playing is a 4-4-2-3-1. Four, four, so, of course, the, the place you want to start in a, any team is in goal. And of course, Kepa has made it very easy not to be in the team, and Willy Caballero is going to start. Now, this is pretty simple because Mendy can't play if he could play him, and Lampard said yesterday he was up. I would put him in, but Caballero had a sick game. I think he made about six saves against Barnsley, so keep him in the game. And uh, without further ado, let's go on the left back. The left back for me will be Ben Chilwell, going to make his Premier League and Chelsea debut start, I mean. He uh, it only took him 21 minutes to get his first assist, so if we keep up that form, um, he's lightning quick, he's got a good pass, got a good whip, and good distribution as well. So, left back for me, Ben Chilwell. Centre back partnership for the first, going to be Zuma, who I think is um, formed this season, he's been absolutely class, there's no way you can get out, and with him speaking French, not only can he speak to Mendy, but he can also speak to his partner. Thiago Silva. Now, of course, I'm going to pick Thiago Silva. Uh, he made one high-profile mistake against Barnsley, but apart from that, if you're keeping a clean sheet, you can't say as a defender he's done anything wrong. His distribution was great. He was calm, cool, collected, and that's why he's going to be centre back. I know it might not happen. It might be tomorrow because tomorrow's been playing well, and he might not be full fixed. He only played 60 minutes, but he could play another 60 minutes and keep building the fitness up until he starts the whole game. Right back, this is pretty simple. It's got to be. It's got to be Reece James. He's been playing cracking, although he didn't start against Barnsley. Uh, Naspilicueta had a good job, I think. Just you know, we got to break down this like wall. I think they're gonna sit back at the Hawthorns today, and I think with the whips and just his pace and strength, gonna uh, put Grady Diangana right there in his pocket, and uh, yeah, do very well. Moving on to the midfield too. Uh, the midfield two I'm gonna go with is firstly Kovacic. Um, I think he had again, like all the players against Barnes, he had a stellar game and uh, he um, got a, a tertiary assist where he nicked the ball with his pace and passed it to Tammy who then gave it to Havertz. I think he was playing really well, his dribbling, his passing, all good. Just Kovacic, there's a reason why he was player of the year and that's why he's going to be in my team. And with Kovacic is Kante, and Golo Kante is having a bit of a renaissance. Last season, he was a bit hampered with uh, injuries the whole time, so yeah, of course, um, it's going to be like hard for me not to put Kante, and he's been playing well, he's been playing sick, and without further ado, let's get on with the, the three in the mid. On the left side, uh, the thing is, you could play wingers like this, but for me, I'm going to put a lamb, a cam, and a ram. The lamb and a cam can just... just Hear me out, okay. On the left attacking mid, I hate to be, you know, all EDL and British, but I'm going to put Mason Mount. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, people saying um, we can play Havertz on the left, Tammy up front because Tammy played well. But for me, I just think uh, having two strikers, well, just having Timo on the left was just wasting his ability. I don't know, but I'm just going to stick with Mount because I think... His pressing and work ethic is vital to the team and is why he's played the most games under Frank Lampard. Moving on to Cam. Cam is pretty simple. It's got to be King Kai Havertz. The game he plays as a 10, he gets a hat-trick. So there's got to be some something in that. Uh, just on what you, you get a hat-trick. There's, there's not more for me to say, really, apart from you get a hat-trick, you played sick, and you're in my team. Ram, for me, is going to be Callum Hunter-Odoi. Yes, I know. Uh, again, he I don't think he got an assist or a goal. With Callum, he's been rumoured to leave, and I think the best thing for him to have is some game time. And I think, you know, he, he worked hard the whole game, I think. And for me, I'm putting Callum, not on based on performance, but I just think he needs to play to just get out of confidence and 
be the Sari Callum we all understand. And up top, of course, without, it's just going to be Timo Supremo. Such a, a good player. I think he's going to get his first goals today. And might even get a hat trick, but I will go on to that later. Uh, Turbo Timo, as they call him in Germany. I mean, he's going to have a good game today. I feel it. He's won two penalties. And although he hasn't got his first goal, I think that will come today. And that is the team. I'm going to put a picture here. Uh, that's the team. And uh, moving on to the score prediction. Moving on from the game we had against Barnsley, I think there's going to be a lot of goals. And if we keep a clean sheet, I am saying, I know it's a bit outlandish, Everton put par five past them. Yes, they got a red card. But I'm saying a 4-1 win. And Timo Werner going to get a hat-trick. I always put one because I don't trust Chelsea that much. But yes, of course, a 4-1 win, comfortable win. Another three points on the board. And hopefully, get us good. Because at the moment, Man United are playing crap. I just watched half of them. So hopefully they can build from this, go on to Tottenham, win Tottenham, go to the international break, well rested, and have every player having confidence. That's been my team. Thank you guys for watching. That's been me, Cam from Cam's Cobham. I'm going to actually stream up. I'm going to do a live watch along with uh, Joe and Jack for the game. So stay tuned for that. And without further ado, like, sub, and share all that jazz. And uh, see you tomorrow.